We're going to read Isaiah 62, 1 to 7. And I believe it is someone's word under the sound of my voice. For Zion's sake, I will not peace. And for Jerusalem's, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burneth. Can we put our names there? Can we read the first one again? Just put your name where you see Zion and where you see Jerusalem. Can we do that? Want, want to go as a mass choir. Want to go. For Enos sake will I not hold my peace. And for Enos sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings my glory. Ah, and thou shalt be called. Who will be called? I do not hear. Who is going to be called? All right, can you say, and I will be called. Let's do it one more. And I will be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Who is giving you that name today? I can't hear you, church. Who is giving you your new name? Let's go to verse 3. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shall no more be termed forsaken neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate but thou shalt be called Hephzibah and thy land Beulah for the Lord delighted in thee and thy land shall be married I cannot even hear you shouting an amen to these prophetic words okay let's continue for as a young man marries a virgin so shall thy sons marry thee and as the bridegroom rejoiced over the bride so shall thy God rejoice over thee amen yes I have set watchmen upon thy walls oh and all we shall never hold thy peace day nor night ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silent and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Father, we ask, let it be all about you. Speak to us in a language that we understand. Take all the glory. Pass through me, O oh God. Reach your people, O oh God. Let each and every one under the sound of our voice uh, enter into their new seasons. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let the church shout a louder amen. As you take your seat, can you shout, I am in my new season. O oh, Rakabasha. Like I said, I was just laying a foundation for what God is going to be doing. And if you read the verse 1 of this scripture, you hear the Bible say, For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest. If you go to verse 6, it says, Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. By the time you go to verse 7, it says, And give him no rest till he establish, until he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. I have come to speak to men and women today daughters and sons of Zion I know that we have come into a new season I know that our theme says welcome to a new season but I have come to speak to someone as the Lord will help me this morning and God is saying he has brought you into a new season but did you notice what happened in the scripture we read we read from verse 1 to 7 and by the time you are reading verse 2 and verse 3 you are seeing all the beautiful promises of God but by the time you get to 6 and 7 you hear the prophet says uh, you hear the prophet say give him no rest excuse me I thought I already have the promise uh, why am I still why are you telling me not to give him rest uh, why are you still saying I need to do something extra I thought already it has happened you have already said that you are calling me by a new name you have already said the Gentiles are coming uh, the kings are coming why do I get to verse 7 and I am told and give him no rest till he establish there is a settlement that must happen uh, until your manifestation comes uh, you cannot be quiet until you see your evidence uh, you cannot keep silent and God is saying in this season you are in a new season but this is a time uh, you have to enforce what I am saying this is a season whereby you are saying I know God has promised me this and that but I am not going to get it sleeping I'm not going to get it relaxing I will not get it resting there is a posture needed if I will enter my new season 
And today we have come. That is the assignment I have today. Because you must be properly postured or positioned so that whatever God is doing in this season, you will not be left behind. Do you know that for every, if you have been in church long enough, you will know that for every year Papa is celebrating a birthday, a new season comes upon both Papa and the church. This year we are saying, as this new season is coming and as God has released this word, I and my family, we must be partakers. Who agrees with me? If I have restless people today, uh, and you know that you must be part of it, uh, raise your hand and say, I am my family. We partake uh, of this new season, uh, anointing. Uh, I am my family. Uh, we will not be left behind. Say, right now, uh, I align. Uh, I align. Uh, I am properly positioned uh, for my new uh, powers uh, that dislocate men uh, in the season uh, of their new uh, what are you doing uh, around my life? Uh, can someone turn the fire? Fire. I cannot hear your fire. 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 I pray for you. Uh, any power that says uh, you will not be part of what God is doing uh, in the now. Uh, let it scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Any power that wants to distract you uh, in this season of new, uh, we decree. Uh, let it be scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. I pray for you uh, every discernment uh, every sensitivity uh, every posturing uh, every aligning uh, you need in the now uh, as your amen will turn uh, let heaven uh, deliver it to you uh, let heaven uh, deliver it to you uh, if your amen is the loudest uh, you will not miss your season you can take your seat. And the Bible says, and give him no rest. Any man that will enter his new season, you must be an enforcer. I call it an enforcer. And, the, and God is saying today, every one of us must arise as kingdom enforcers. Who are enforcers? Enforcer. An enforcer is someone who compels compliance with laws, with rules and regulation. He does not just ask for it. He compels it. An enforcer compels, means that he, he, he insists on it. It is something that must happen by force. He is not interested in any everything, but his interest is in the laws, is in the rules, is in the regulation. A kingdom enforcer is one that compels compliance over every promise of God over his or her life. A kingdom enforcer is that person that says, you know what, as far as prophecies have been released over my head, it must happen. I must ensure it happens. I believe that some of you don't understand that we are in August. This is August that's about to end. We are almost at the end of 2023. The promises God gave you for this year, you have not seen them materialize and you are relaxed. You can be relaxed. A kingdom enforcer says, Ayakata, not while I am alive. Every word God has spoken over my life must come to pass. I enforce it. I will make it happen. I will give the Lord no rest. I will give myself no rest until it happens. You know why the kingdom enforcer sounds like that? Because the kingdom of God and the kingdom of enforcer remembers whenever he's walking on the road when he's sitting in his house he, there's something that is eating him up in his belly he does not forget what God has said he does not forget that life is too short to waste time so he lives each day in the consciousness of the promises and prophecies over his life some of us have hanging promises and prophecies of five years and we are relaxed as if nothing has happened and God is saying you will give me no rest the prophet says give him no rest in the morning you wake up God when will it happen it must happen now it's not even about when because God says welcome to your new season so the prayer is whatever will stop me uh, from entering this new uh, fire Ayakatayana, Erokoba. if I need to fast I will fast if I need to pray more I will pray more but I will not uh, be forgotten or I will not miss uh, what is coming in this season uh, can someone shout fire can someone shout fire I cannot hear you shall fire. Arakata. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 4. The Bible says, Ye have not yet resisted unto blood. You are praying about this, but you have not yet resisted unto blood. You have not prayed the kind of prayer Jesus prayed that the Bible says his sweat was falling like blood. You have not gotten there. You 
have prayed a little and you have stopped her. You have hired Takata. Anybody that his strength is small in this service, I pray for you. May the Lord increase your strength. May the Lord increase your strength. God said I should pray against laziness on the spirit. Anyone that is lazy in the spirit, I pray for you, not in this season. Every laziness of the spirit, let it be reversed to strength. Let it be reversed to strength. I cannot hear your amen. You have not resisted unto blood. First Timothy 1.18 says, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before concerning thee, that thou by them mightest wage a good warfare. You must wage a good warfare. If not, you see, welcome to your new season. God forbid that we will do welcome to your new season. Season 1, season 2. And you will not be part of it. A lot of times, this is prophecy that has been released. But it's only if you can connect and say, it is not just mere words. It's not for my neighbor, it's for me. It's not for my neighbor, it is for me. Alika, can you tap yourself? It's not for my neighbor, it is for me. Alika, if you don't do these things, brethren, men and brethren, you may miss out on what God is doing. God forbid that the train will be moving and you'll be a spectator in the things God is doing in this season. I cannot be in streams of joy and I will be in a, how do they say it? You are in water and soap is entering your eye. Can someone say, God forbid? I did not come for everybody, but I know people that know that there must be more. There can be more. If I have people that say there can be more, can you say, God forbid? Say, I align by fire. Say, oh Lord, uh, help me. Uh, I cannot hear you, sir. Help me. Uh, the kingdom enforcer understands uh, that it's an error to sleep on his prophecies. It's an error to sleep. When you hear it, don't become happy and comfortable and say, yes, God has spoken. Let us go and rest. No. The moment you hear it, that's the moment for warfare. Because the devil will fight that word. He will fight it from coming to pass. He will fight your mind. He will fight you physically. He will fight you in your spirit. Just so that that word does not come to pass. But when we have an understanding uh, that we know that we are not ignorant uh, of the devices of the enemy uh, so that the devil will not outsmart us, uh, we are 10 steps ahead of him. Uh. We are 10 steps ahead of him. Uh, and we know what we say uh, in this season uh, when we don't know what to pray. Uh, we open our mouths and le brakatayata. Iyeke petwasha. Eruko potuata. Erike teata. Eruko boyada. Out of my belly. Uh, let it flow. Uh, rivers uh, of living water. I was born uh, for such a time uh, as this. So in the nights you grow now. You know why? A kingdom enforcer, one of the meanings of the word compel, Ayakata, is to put pressure. Ayanaka. You want to see the manifestation, you must apply pressure. A woman in labor, no matter how much the child wants to come and she wants the child to come, if she does not apply pressure, if she does not push, that baby with the head will be stuck out, but the body will be inside. And if she wastes a lot of time, uh, that baby will die while trying to come out. Even if you do CS, is there still pressure involved to bring out the baby? They will cut you. They will have to start opening opening, making space to pull out. They will not just cut you and baby will come out on his own. They go and they pull. Kaya tayada. Pressure. Can someone shout pressure? Oh, I have called people today. If I have people that are on fire, can you shout pressure? Can you shout pressure? Now the question I have to ask you, ask you is what pressure are you willing to put in order to bring forth your new? Behold, I do a new thing. Now shall you uh, now you shall spring forth. Yes, Papa had taught us that for you to catch your new thing, you must see it before it comes. And uh, hallelujah, yes. I, I, are we together? You must see it before it comes, right? A libra shayata, a suyadada. But even if you see it, uh, you are seeing it, it is still in the spirit realm. Uh, it takes lebekete to bring it 
into manifestation because it must be translated and transported from the spirit to physical to reality to manifestation can someone say I manifest now I manifest now I manifest now you are quiet that marriage you have been waiting for you are getting older you are still quiet it's a lie the next 14 days wake up to a midnight where is that man I will not agree. You are not praying the prayer for anybody to see you. And even if they see you and they laugh, that's not important. I know what God told me. I know what he showed me. And because I know what he has shown me, I must insist and enforce until I carry my evidence. I will not keep quiet. Some of us have become quiet too soon. You prayed seven days. You fasted. Nothing happened. You have gone cold. You have said, okay, let's just wait. Maybe God does not want to do it. Who said? Who said it's God that does not want to do it? For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. Daniel prayed for 21 days. While he made up his mind to pray, his answer had already come. But the prince of Pisha withstood 21 days. You, you have prayed your own. And now you are now explaining it away and saying it is God that is delaying. It's not God. It's not God. Ayakata. Some of us are in more spiritual battles than you can imagine. Some of us are you're coming from families that are different spiritual battles than you can imagine. If only God opens your eye, you discover that this thing that you are explaining away, you should not explain away. Papa said, we don't what's that thing to say? We, it is better to spiritualize everything than to physicalize it and it's a spiritual matter. You can never go wrong when you spiritualize a matter. Can someone shout fire? I have not said anything yet. Can someone shout fire? Another weapon for a kingdom enforcers is that we apply what we call violence and intimidation. Since the days of John the Baptist, up until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence. Ayakata. Violence is physical force. Violence is power. Violence. When you see a person that is violent, you will know. When we are praying, you are still praying. Oh God, Jesus. You, are, you, you don't know what violence means. You have not started praying violently. When you understand violence, you know that you shake your head. You move your body. You kick your legs. You don't care. Hey, Yakata. I see that. It was the prophet, the Bible says, that he labored in prayer. He knelt and he put his knees. You cannot even take that posture for a long time. But that was a posture he took to pray. Some of us, when you're praying, you're still praying. Oh Lord, our God, our heavenly Father. They give her a oh, shadow. Even the demon knows that you have not started. The demon said this one. When you begin to pray prayers that even the demons begin to sleep, your prayers become lullaby to them. Then you have not started. I show me a man that will pray a violent prayer and I will show you a demon that will run. Open your mouth. Wherever you rise up, open your mouth. Pray in the Holy Ghost. If you don't know how to pray in the Holy Ghost, be shouting fire, Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost meet you where you are. May you be baptized uh, with the Holy Ghost and the evidence of speaking in tongues. Can you place your hand in your womb? Uh, there is something new you are yet to better. Your generation is yet to see. Uh, I have not seen. Uh, hey, let the sleeping giants arise. Your season of manifestation is now. Your season of exploits is now. Your season of congratulation is now. World champions, game changers. It is now. It is your season to move. Uh, it's your season to move again. Uh, every year, our papa moves. Uh, there is something outstanding. Uh, it's that season again. Uh, we are about to move. Uh, we are about to move. Uh, we are getting into the deep waters. Here they get washed. water. water. Let your aim at Let your aim at The battle of the enemy is to make you intimidated. 
he intimidates you. He brings fear. He makes you afraid. And you begin to say, I cannot do it. Oh, it's not me God has called. Oh, let them do it. It is not for people like me. But I have come to tell you that the devil, the Bible calls him, he rose like, he's not a lion. He rose like a lion. Meaning he's a lion without teeth. He's toothless. The only way he gets you is through your fear. And Job says, what I was afraid of is what happened. Meaning, the things I was not afraid of did not happen to me. But it's the ones I feared that now happened. So, what does that mean? If I give in to fear, I give the enemy a weapon against me. That is the only way. He backs, but he cannot bite. So, we take it back to him. You think you can intimidate me? It's me that will intimidate you. What do we become? The Bible says we become a sharp, threshing instrument. Please show me that scripture. It calls it new. She, new sharp. How, where does the new come in? Behold, I will make thee a new sharp, threshing instrument. Having teeth. I told you devil does not have teeth. God is giving you teeth. So when you thresh, you destroy. You pull down. A solada. I went for administration and I said something to them. Something happened to me at some point in my life. And I told the devil, I, see, 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 the God of the days you cry over matters. You don't cry. When things happen, don't cry. But you know what I did? I told the devil. I said, you're a bastard. When I come out of this, I will kill you. I will destroy you. I will finish you. You think I've been doing something now? Wait, let me come out of this. By the time I am done with you, you will regret. You will think twice again before you come near me. There is a posture you will take. The devil can never come near you. Because when he remembers what you did to him, he will go to the people that he knows that he can fight. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I am a terror to the kingdom of darkness. Your voice does not even sound terrorizing. Say, I'm a terror to the kingdom of darkness. I can hear you find another neighbor. Give them a height and say, I am a terror. Can someone shout fire? How do you roar? What voice do you have in the spirit? What voice do you have in the spirit? I pray for you. Become a terror to the kingdom of darkness. Receive fresh fire. Receive fresh fire. Let your aim at thunder. Let your aim at thunder. I and as I close, the Bible says, let me just say this because of time. And the Bible says in verse 2, and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory. This is the part I'm interested in. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. This is a new season. Huh? Can you meet two neighbors say it is a new season? Huh? Can you sense it in the atmosphere? Because I can feel it in the spirit. Huh? This is a new season. Oh, I and the Lord says, huh? You will be called. You are not the one that will give yourself that name. It is God that gives you the identity. It is God that is about to give you that name. Ashakata. You may be thinking of a name, but get ready for the name that will come from the Lord Himself. No matter what you are thinking for as a name, when the name of God comes, He comes big, He comes loud, He comes in a way you cannot imagine. Ayakata. There is an identity God says, I am. Releasing in this house, uh, I am raising giants, uh, giants in industry, giants in business, uh, giants in career, a wreck and better, giants in the academia, a rock of Basha, a wreck and better. And he says, I am the one that will call you. He is the one calling. When the word called, apart from what you know it as, but simple English, called is to cry out, is to yell is to shout. God is saying, when I call you by a name, that name I will call you, that identity, will be so loud that it will make the announcement you need. See, now you are trying to make announcement by yourself. But the call, when I call you, the call will be the announcement for your new uh, The call will be an announcement for your new uh, Can I pray for someone? Uh, as the Lord calls you today, uh, let him bring you to your new uh, Let him announce your new uh, Let him announce your new The Bible says, as the Gentiles shall see. Why would they see? the righteousness. Why will all kings come to thy glory? That is why there is a bum bum. The only reason why the Gentiles will come, the kings will come, is because of the calling. I want 
Gentiles to come. I want kings to come. I want customers to come. I want clients to come. Place your hand on your head. And takateada. Arakata. Can someone say, oh Lord, call me by my own new name. Call me by my own new name. Can I make a prayer for you? Any identity of the old that has held you down, that has limited you, that has covered you from Gentiles and kings, customers and clients, helpers and the people you need, as your amen will turn out, I command let that identity tear by fire, tear by fire, tear by fire. I cannot hear your amen. I cannot hear your amen. Take a new identity. Take a new name. Let the kings come. Let the Gentiles come. They are coming to the brightness of your light. Can I pray for someone? As you have entered your new season, shine as light. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. Let the nations begin to call your name. Let the nations come for you. Let men, let women of influence, let them begin to call for you. If your amen will turn between August and September, they will send for you. They will send for you. They will send for you. They will send for your business. They will send for your career. If your amen will turn let me, the person with the loudest amen, may they send for you first. This is your season. I announce welcome to a new season. A new season of becoming. A new season of rising. A new season of shining. A new season of light. A new season of exploit. A new season of manifestation. A new season of answers. Celebration. Congratulation. If you believe it, throw your head back and give the Lord 40 loud. Amen. <laughs>